Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. Assalamu alaikum. This is me, your English language instructor, Muhammad Asnan, once again with all of you people. Today, I'm going to be talking about a not so easy topic because it's rather not about grammar that you could memorize it, nor it's about some kind of rules that you would memorize and then apply it, but rather some common mistakes that lots of people commit that are unusual, like in the first sight when you see them. So you won't feel that much of a big mistake. But when you look at it closely, so you'll understand that there is a big mistake in that sentence. And that is, if you thought that it, this video, I'm going to be talking about some very common mistakes, you know, it's going to be a bit unusual this time. And that is, and that is that today I'm going to be elaborating some of the greatest mistakes I've witnessed my own self as a student and as a teacher in many cases. So let's get into our topic today. Let's start with our topic. Number one, that is the case that it involves not that much problem in our spoken because nobody will be able to witness what we have just spoken or nor they will be able to understand it that much easily. But here when you are elaborating anything in written form, so they will be able to witness and see that and then going to criticize you for your mistakes, for your silly and childish mistakes according to your examiners. So let's get into our first one. Some Pakistani people hate summer. Some Pakistani people hate summer. Now, let me ask you, what do you think that is the mistake in this case? Think about it. If you said that people, that is the case if you said that, then you have to be correct because in this case, we do not elaborate the word people here. And we are using nationality, place, or religion, or anything else. We do not show people, or we do not show the amount of what the people or the amount is. So let me make you understand with written form. People. So people shall be cutted. And what we will add here. Now, again, let's do it. Some Pakistani hate summer. Any mistakes? You might think there would be one. And yes, you are right. That is the case if you thought there is a mistake in Pakistani. So yes, there is a mistake in Pakistani because you have to add an S. When you add an S, then it becomes correct. Some Pakistanis hate summer. Some Pakistanis hate summer. And that's actually correct because I don't like summer myself. Because it's quite hot but there's some pleasure in it so other than the real meaning of it some pakistanis hate summer now this is what we call grammatically correct sentences there are two types of correction of sentences in language and in literature in literature they do not care that much about your grammar yes they do care about your punctuations your grammar but the main point is they don't care about that that much what they actually care about is what your words make sense or do they not make sense. But in language, your most important part is your grammatical uh, sense. If your grammatical sense is correct, if your words are wrong, that's okay. If you're saying false information, that's okay. But in literature, you have to have a sense, you have to have a correct information, plus have some grammatical correction in it too. Now, many Indians or many Indian people have uh, many Indian people are learning English. I don't know why I want to correct this again and again, but let me show you once again. Many Indian people are learning English. So, what's the mistake here? Many Indian people are learning English. So, what's the mistake here if you say that the mistake is in Indian and people? Yes, you're correct. Because just like this one, we have to cut people, people don't match here. Now, let me give you an example of why it doesn't match, because there are some rules in grammar. Uh, now, why are those rules made, who made them, or what was the purpose to make them? They are unknown. But the only thing we know is that there are some rules, and we have to follow those rules. And you have to add an S. So, many Indian, many Indians are learning English. Many Indians are learning English. Now let's go ahead. Muslim people fast during Ramadan. Muslim people fast during Ramadan. 
Now, what's wrong here? Lots of people actually don't know how to differentiate in this one. Because lots of people know to differentiate between people, nationalities. <clears throat> Even they can differentiate between anything. But mostly the people that cannot differentiate is in religion. They cannot find out this mistake in religious perspectives. So some people say Muslim people fast during Ramadan, which is incorrect. Because if you thought that Muslim people is incorrect, so you are correct. Muslim people is incorrect. People will have to be cutted. And Muslims fast during Ramadan. That's the way you do it. Muslims fast during Ramadan. <clears throat> now, another example of religion, Christian people celebrate Easter. Or Christians celebrate Easter. Now, here, what's the mistake? Of course, it's going to be the same mistake as we have seen here. People will be cut it and we will add an S to Christians. Correct? Christians celebrate Easter. Now, we can have another example that isn't on the board. Like, Asians, Asian people like to fight. Now, what is the problem here? It's not Asian people. It's Asians like to fight. I have personal experiences, by the way. Because I've seen a lot of people that have uh, problems and like Asians don't like to uh, give another person a chance to have a fight. They just don't miss the chance, opportunity to have a great fight and enjoyment within it. Uh, let's have another example. Asian people are fond of learning English or are fond of, of reading books. Now, what is the problem here? Asian people is incorrect. Asians are fond of learning English or are fond of reading books. So, I hope you people understood this. This is a big mistake. I'm going to make a sequel to another part, which is going to be discussing a separate problem, a different problem that is inside of it. So, we'll witness some other problems too here. So, this is all for today's video. Hope you people enjoyed our video. And I'm going to be teaching you people in another part, another some few mistakes that are committed by many people. So, until that time, thank you so much for being with me. And Allah Hafiz.